Hey guys, uh, Zombie Denise again. Um, going to be reviewing I, another video. I just watched uh, Underworld, I think it's The Awakening, Awakenings, something like that. Um, the movie's absolute crap. The series is kind of crap, actually. But um, watch this movie. Um, Kate Beckinsale, corset, leather pants, the jacket, the boots. You know, kind of hot. She's hot. She's hot, right? She's hot. So, watch this movie. Um, nothing else really better to do. So, um, watch this movie and was like, eh, you know. It was really a shitty storyline. They really didn't need another movie. They've even set it up to do another movie. Which they'll probably do. It'll probably be equally as crap. But, you know. Whatever. Um, you know what I did like about this movie, though? Is that they have some... It's, it's kind of the same thing that I like about the other movies. I don't like the main characters. I like the supporting characters, though. They have much more interesting supporting characters. This one had uh, an actor, uh, Theo James. Um, he plays a, a vampire in this who's trying to, like, you know, rise up and let's, you know, let's defeat the humans because they've pushed us down and there's this purge and a little bit blah, blah, blah whatever, and, um, he's an actor I've seen before in a BBC America show called Bedlam, where he plays this guy who, um, he's, he's talking to ghosts and people think he's batshit crazy, but really he's, you know, talking to ghosts and, um, trying to, you know, save them from these ghosts, because these ghosts are, like, evil, ah, you know, whatever, so, um, if you've not seen that show, Actually, that one's fantastic. Bedlam, BBC America. Uh, it's like a mini series, but it ended at a cliffhanger, so I'm hoping there's gonna be another season. That was awesome. So that was cool to see him in that because I was like, I know this guy. Oh yeah, he's the dude that talks to ghosts. Ah, everyone thinks he's crazy. Um, and then uh, there's another guy in there, and um, oh, he plays this super lichen because he's all hopped up on. Um, and, you know, these injections from the hybrid mutant child, you know, her DNA, and he's all, whatever. But, um, <clears throat> that guy is from, uh, there's a show on Sci-Fi Channel called Lost Girl, and, uh, he plays, it's really funny, he plays kind of like this big bad wolf werewolf dude of the fey world, which is like the fairy world. So, um, that was kind of interesting. I'm like, hey, I know that guy too, you know, um... I think his name's, uh, Chris Holden Reed. That's it. So, um, I guess that's kind of cool. But, eh, you know, it was yet another kind of just uh, movie. You know, you're like, eh, whatever. Um, I, you know, like, Lucian was my favorite character from the first one. And then they did the prequel. Which confused a lot of people when they did a prequel. Because, um, everyone's like... How come they don't have Kate Beckinsale in this anymore? And it's like, because it's a fucking prequel, you idiots. But nobody got that. They were like, what? How come Kate Beckinsale isn't in it with a corset? Yeah, so, um, movie is completely, totally missable. Um, there were some interesting scenes in there, some, you know, different things, you know. Humans find out about werewolves and vampires and how they're alive and, you know... There's two crazy species, and they've been living with us for how long? And, ah, uh, you know, so they think it's, like, a disease, so they purge it. And, um, so the the movie's supposed to take place, like, I think it's, like, a couple months after the second movie, and then there's, like, freeze time and 12 years later. And, um, like, the two main characters, you know, they're like, we're gonna run away, and we're gonna get away from all this crap, and they get caught, and then... This, um, genetics lab thing cryogenically freezes them upside down. I'm not really sure what the point of that was. They were upside down. Maybe because when they fall out and they all blah, and then have to show, like, it's a PG-13 movie, I think. It wasn't rated R. I'm pretty sure it was PG-13, so. It's, like, no actual, like, nudity in it. It's all suggested. But, um, I don't know. And, uh, you know, so Kate Beck is still character, wakes up, and, you know, she's like, what the hell? And she's like, seeing through the eyes of another, and she thinks she's seeing through uh, the eyes of, you know, her lover, and no, it's really her kid, because his genetics lab 
took their DNA and mixed it and made a child, which they've been raising, and, you know, to cure, to make themselves into super lichens. You're like, wait a minute, what? You know, I'm supposed to contain the threats and the whole bit, and they were all lying. It's make themselves into the super shredder. Ah, oh, sorry, Ninja Turtles joke there. Anyway, um, it was a crap movie. <laughs> but I was bored, and I watched it, and, um, you know... I'm a I'm a sucker for uh, any kind of supernatural show. Usually, um, I like werewolves and vampires and obviously zombies and things. So um, I watched it. You know, um, I don't watch just about anything except for you know like the Twilight films. Interest in that all? I'm pretty sure that whole series about that guy's hair. Uh, and, and they're not really vampires. They're obviously fairies. They sparkle, right? I don't know, but, um, anyway, uh, yeah, I'll watch just about anything, so I watched this, and I was bored, and I would say miss this, this film, um, do, however, check out Bedlam, uh, Lost Girl's pretty good, too, but Bedlam, the British actually know how to do some pretty cool stuff, as much as I bitch about the British, mostly, you know, we'll not get into it, but, um, I'm Irish, we'll just, we'll say that, but, um, as much as I bitch about the British, I, I do like BBC America and uh, their programming and stuff. And I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, so. Like, Tom Baker, Doctor Who, old school Doctor Who. I like the new stuff too, but, you know. As soon as they killed off, you know, David Tennant's Doctor Who 10, I was... I, I can't get into this new guy. But anyway, I digress again. Bedlam, though. Check it out. Miss this total stupid uh, fourth Underworld movie. Unless you just want to look at Kate Beckinsale's ass, then, you know, by all means, go for it. You know, so. That's it. This is um, a stupid movie review. Yay! Um, talk to you guys later. Bye!